today I will be showing you how to create a virtual reality Unity program using the Leap Motion on a mobile phone. First, what you're going to want to do is you want to install Unity on the Unity web page. Once you have installed Unity, run the program, create a new project, and name it whatever you would desire. Once you press create project, it's going to load a few assets and then it'll load you into the normal screen. Once it is done, you'll see a screen similar to this. Then, what you will want to do is you will want to drag in the two assets that you have downloaded. Then you will see a screen like this for the first asset and you will want to click select all and then import. After, you'll want to drag the other asset and put it into and repeat the same process. Once all the assets are finished importing, you'll see something like this. After that, you'll want to open the Leap Motion folder, then go into the Scenes folder, and then after that, you want to click the third one, which is the Leap Motion Virtual Reality. Once it has loaded, you'll see something like this. Then after that, at the bottom, you'll see two hands which are the two leap motion hands from the sensor. After, you'll see LM head mounted rig on the sidebar. You're going to want to right click it and then copy. Once you have copied it, then you want to go into file and then new scene. And then you'll see something like this. Once the new scene is there, you're going to want to right click on the sidebar and then paste the object. After you have done that, you're going to want to go back to the bottom, open up the cardboard folder, then after that you're going to go to the prefab folder, and then you're going to want to drag cardboard main to the left sidebar. Once you did that, you should see something like this on the sidebar. Then you want to click on LM head mounted rig, then center eye anchor, and then you want to disable the camera on the right side. Now we get to the controller part of the program. First, you want to go to, go to the top and go to assets. Then you want to click import asset and then select the character asset and then do import. Once the assets are finished importing, you're going to want to click it at the bottom, standard assets. And then you want to go into characters, then first person, and then you want to drag the FPS controller to the left sidebar. After you've done that, you're going to want to open up the FPS controller with the arrow, and then delete the first person character. After, you want to drag the imp cardboard main into the FPS controller. You also want to drag LV head mounted rig into the FPS controller. After you finished and you press the play button, it should look something like this. Then, as you notice, when you click on all the different objects, the position isn't 000. zero, zero. You're going to want to change all of them by clicking on them to 000, zero, zero so that everything is centered so when we place something down, it'll be better. You're going to want to change the LM head mounted rig so that the camera is above, looking more like a human-like position. You can now place an object called a terrain. A terrain is a plane that you can edit and do whatever you want with it. You also want to change the FPS controller Y value to 1 so that when you press the play button, the player doesn't get stuck in the ground. Now you can mess around with the terrain whether it's raising the terrain, lowering it, painting it, or anything that you want. Then, go to File, Build Settings, and then you're going to click on Player Settings. After clicking, you'll see something like this. Then you're going to want to click on Other Settings, and then after that, at the top, it says Company Name and Product Name. You're going to want to change at the bottom 
the build and you're going to change it so that the company name is default company and then the other part is whatever you called your project after that you can go back to the build settings click on android and then press build it's going to ask you to select the android sdk folder which will be linked in the description you select that folder then after that it'll ask you for the jdk then you'll just select the folder which you can download after that it'll ask you where it, where you want to save your .apk file which is what the android phone will run once it has finished building locate the file and then you're going to want to plug in your android device into the computer after that it'll pop up and show you the phone as a usb drive then you want to open that up then you want to go into the folder called downloads and you want to place your .apk file into the downloads folder however if you don't have an android device you can click on pc and then you can do build and run and then after that the program should come up however you won't be able to do anything because your elite motion controller has not been plugged in then you're going to want to take your elite motion controller and take the usb cable that came with it and then you want to plug it in and it should look something like this to get the leap motion to work you're going to need to install the leap motion driver which is the orion driver that will also be linked in the description for you to be able to download and install this is my virtual world here that i created you can look around and move around also as well as you can use it in your hands and you can use it however if you're using a desktop orientation it won't work well because the leap motion thinks it's in a virtual reality mode facing forward on the other hand if you're using a mobile device such as the android phone then you will need to go into your file explorer system files and then downloads then you'll see your f the folder the unity file which if you tap on it it'll prompt you through the instructions to install the application once installed you can run the program and see it work